They think there's a fox trapped under there. It's a whole pile of baby foxes. Their mom's here. They're gonna be okay. Hey guys, Roman here, and I've got a real story about a real baby fox really being rescued. Only it's not just one baby fox, there's actually a whole bunch of baby foxes that get rescued in this story. The little foxes were hiding where they thought it was safe. But really, they were in danger. They were right under that deck. A rescuer came to get them out. So let's get started. He used a saw and a hammer to open the deck. And he got a real surprise when he finally got inside. Look at this. Look at this little guy. Oh my gosh. What a cutie. That little fox was very curious, but he must have been thinking, where's my mom? Where's my brother and sisters? But it's okay, because the rescuers kept looking. <laughs> Number two. <laughs> hey buddy, look at you. And they weren't going to stop with just two foxes. Yeah, I see two more. There were a whole lot more that needed a rescue. They just kept finding little foxes. They found another one. But there were still more. We just had to grab these three guys so fast. Instead of juggling the camera and three little guys. And that's, that's where they were in there. After a lot of work, they saved six baby foxes. But there was still one more, and these rescuers wouldn't give up. I well, we saw one go in behind there. And we're pretty sure this is the last one, so. The last little fox did not want to come out. He felt snug and warm under the deck. But the rescuers knew he wasn't safe there, so they went looking for him. He really didn't like being pulled out. He bit me. We got you, finally. Finally, all the little foxes were out of the deck. But now the rescuers had another problem. They needed to find the fox's mom. First, they put the little foxes in a safe special box where the little cubs could wait. They put the foxes in this box so carefully, the little foxes felt safe and cozy. Then they waited. The rescuers were sure the mom would come back to check on her babies. Look, there she is! But she was kind of scared and confused. She was thinking, what are you doing in there, babies? Eventually, she gently picked them up one by one. And she took them off to their new home where it was safe and they could live as a big family all together. Literally less than five minutes, she has come back and taken all seven babies. She has her babies in a safe place and job complete. Everyone was happy and I hope that makes you happy too. How about we take one last look at the foxes in the box. They look so cozy. Thanks for watching my real rescue story with me. Bye! If you see an animal in trouble, don't try and rescue it by yourself. Ask an adult family member for help. My mom helps me with the dogs I rescue. It's a wild horse. Goliath is a wild stallion. He was huge, that's why they call him Goliath, because Goliath means really big. He used to live in a wild part of Wyoming with a lot of other horses. He liked the other horses a lot, but his favorite was Red Lady. She was his favorite horse in the whole world. 
Goliath and Red Lady were a family, and they were really happy. But the horse herd shared their land with people that lived nearby, and some of the people thought the horse herd was too big and too close. So they used helicopters to move Goliath, Red Lady, and the rest of the herd away. They put the horses in some pens that weren't very good for the horses. The horses missed their old home. But Goliath was really upset because when the horses got moved, he and Red Lady got separated. They had to live in separate pens and couldn't see each other anymore. He missed his favorite horse. Luckily, an animal rescuer named Claire heard about the horses. Claire wanted to help Goliath. Turn some horse frowns upside down. So she came up with a plan. She convinced the people to let her adopt Goliath and take him home back to her big ranch. It cost a lot of money to adopt Goliath, but strangers chipped in to help her. Once the adoption was official, Goliath traveled on a trailer all the way to Claire's ranch. He was so excited to be someplace new. It almost felt like home, but something was missing. He doesn't have the horse he loved the most. Out of any horse in the entire galaxy. Then the best thing happened. Claire got a call from a different animal rescuer who had adopted Red Lady. The rescuers knew that the two horses had to be together. So they brought Red Lady to Claire's ranch. and the horses ran right up to each other. Finally, Goliath felt like he was home. Oh, it's been so long, I missed you so, 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 much. Soon, there was even more good news. Baby Bodhi was born. He was kind of cute. Thanks to Claire, now Goliath, Red Lady, and Bodhi get to spend every day eating, taking walks, playing horse games, and just being together as a family. A lot of fun stuff in that sanctuary for horses and the life that they deserve. They're rescuing a little baby deer with a net. He's lost and he can't find his mom. He's crying out for her. But the rescuers have a plan to save the little deer. Hey guys, today I want to show you another real story of a real animal, Billy, being rescued. There are so many animals who need help and so many ways to rescue them. This rescue story starts kind of sad but something amazing happens at the end. I promise you, it starts like this. A little baby deer was crying for his mom. He was lost and couldn't find her. And when he went looking, he got trapped in a ditch. He was so scared and didn't know what to do. But people in the neighborhood found the little deer. There you go, so cute. And two animal rescuers came. See? <laughs> oh, I was so mad when I heard that. For 
first the rescuers had to get the baby deer out of the ditch. They used a big green net to help him. The deer cried for his mom over and over again. Eventually, the rescuers got him out. The tiny deer felt safe with the rescuers, but he still missed his mom. Now the rescuers had another problem. They didn't know where to find the deer's mom. So they decided to wait. Maybe the deer mom would hear the crying and follow the sound to her little baby. But the baby's mom didn't come. She was too far away to hear him crying. So the rescuers took the little deer someplace safe where he could rest. The next day, the people in the neighborhood spotted a deer. She was sitting under a bush, and she looked sad. Was she the baby deer's mom? The rescuers decided to bring the baby deer near. Everyone was wondering, was this the mama deer? Was this her baby? And then... Oh, Hungry. He was her baby. Happy. That's my mother. Oh. Look now, she's licking him. The little baby deer and his mom were so happy. She's happy she found her baby. No Finally way. back together. Ain't that sweet? Their family was together again. The rescuers and the neighbors were so proud. They helped the lost baby deer find his mom. And they helped the mom deer find her baby. Thanks for watching my rescue story video. Before we stop, let's see that happy baby deer one more time. Bye! If you see an animal in trouble, don't try and rescue it by yourself. Ask an adult family member for help. My mom helps me with the dogs I rescue. Whoa, look at that squirrel jump. Tintin is no ordinary squirrel because he lives in a house with this guy. They eat together and they snuggle together and go on walks together. He became a very spoiled little, little squirrel. But how exactly did this happen? How many squirrels can you think of that live inside? I can't think of any either. Tintin didn't always live in a house. He used to be a wild squirrel. When Tintin was only a baby, he fell off the roof of Deacon's house. Deacon was really worried. He could tell the squirrel was hurt, and he couldn't see the squirrel's mom anywhere. So Deacon called professional animal rescuers, who told him to wait for the baby's mom to come find him. And so he waited. But when the mom didn't come, Deacon knew he had to do more. So he brought the little squirrel inside and let Tintin snuggle with his cat, which seems like a crazy idea. But the cat loved Tintin. I didn't expect that to turn out so well, but apparently it did. Deacon brought Tintin to the vet. Tintin had a big cut from the fall and was very weak. But Deacon wasn't gonna give up on Tintin. He even made Tintin a little squirrel sweater and gave him Lots of love. Pretty soon, Tintin was feeling better. 
he was a happy, healthy squirrel again and ready to go back into the wild. But there was one problem. Tintin didn't want to leave. And Deacon wasn't going to make him. So Deacon decided to become Tintin's dad. He bought him a harness so they can go on walks together. And climb trees. And jump off trees. Tintin's kind of a glider squirrel. Tintin loves being outside. But he loves being inside more. We could never have a squirrel in our house or our dogs would go nutsy cuckoo. Tintin's probably the happiest squirrel in the world. He's got toys to play with. And a jungle gym. He's even got space to make his own nest, like a wild squirrel would do. But most of all, Tintin has a home and a dad who loves him very much. And who he loves, too. He just is a very lucky squirrel. That dolphin's coming right up to him. I think she has something stuck in her fin. Now the diver's cutting her free. It's me, Roman. This rescue story is super special because it's about an animal that came looking for help. It all happens way down in the ocean where it's super dark. Some people were supposed to be diving with the manta rays underwater. That's a manta ray right there. But there was something else swimming around too. That's not a manta ray, that's a dolphin. She's coming to the divers to look for help. It's kind of dark, but if you really look carefully, you can see that the dolphin cannot move her fin. The divers really wanted to help, but it was too dark for them to see clearly. They didn't know what was wrong with the dolphin's fin. And then they saw the problem. The dolphin had a hook in her fin. The diver got right to work. He was really careful and gentle. And the dolphin trusted the diver to fix her fin. She helped him by keeping really calm. Finally, he got the hook free. The dolphin was super happy. But there was another problem. The dolphin's fin was tangled in a fishing line. One of the divers used some scissors to cut the line away. The divers sang, come over here, we can help you again. The dolphin was really patient. The diver was super careful. He made sure not to hurt the dolphin. It took a long time, but he finally got her fin free and pulled the line away. The diver checked the dolphin to make sure she didn't need any more help. And when he was totally sure, he waved goodbye. The dolphin was so grateful and was super happy to be swimming freely again. Now the divers could go back to the mandarins who were like, what can we do to get some attention around here? That dolphin was so brave and smart to look for help. Look at her, isn't she great? Now she's free to swim all around the ocean again. And that's a really good way to end this story. I'll see you soon, bye. If you see an animal in trouble, don't rescue it by yourself. Ask an adult family member for help. Uh-huh.
has a baby moose. There's two baby moose. They're all on their own, and they don't have big moose to take care of them. We knew that we had to do something. So Mimi became a real animal rescuer. It was on the bus in the morning. My bus driver pulled over. He was like, oh my gosh, guys, it's baby moose. We kept seeing them throughout the entire week. Those mooses seemed there were moose. Mooses. Moose? I'm confused. Moose. <laughs> the plural word for moose, for bait, for a bunch of moose, is moose. The moose were too young to be out in the wild on their own. Immediately, my mom sprung into action to go find the baby moose. In the car, going back to our house, we had a baby moose crawled across my sister's lap. The rescuers took them home. We called the conservation officer and the first thing he asked was, are you ready to take care of these moose? They were so ready. They got to work helping the baby moose grow up. Drink up, baby. <laughs> and made sure the moose babies felt safe in their new house. They were kind of scared, so we tried to stay with them, keep them calm. And hung out with the babies, like, all of the time. It was like they had their mom, but they had like a, a bigger family around them. The moose were being kind of goofy. I never really noticed how long their legs were until they started walking. Not very agile creatures. <laughs> When the baby moose is just like, just like swinging her, her leg around and hopping around like a joyful little moose. They look pretty goofy. Clover was a little bit more energetic and a little bit more affectionate. You little goofy, you can paper. <laughs> Chocolate was a little bit more lazy, I think. <laughs> Seeing them run around playing together, they were just having so much fun. It was a good feeling. Those moose seem to be really happy. Snuggling with a puppy is cute, but snuggling with a baby moose is just another level. <laughs> and they were so much stronger than they were before. They had their attitude back, they had their energy back. They were ready to go. <laughs> they were ready to be baby moose again. Mimi and her family had helped a lot, but now it was time for the moose to go to an animal sanctuary. Once we found a sanctuary, they had to leave. Everyone was a little sad to say goodbye. But they were proud too. They had saved the moose babies. And they were real life animal rescuers. It was good to know that they were going to go on and live in the wild like they were supposed to. And I hope that they just have a really happy moose life. It was what was best for the moose. They were old enough to go to live the wild life. If you see an animal in trouble, don't try to rescue them by yourself. Ask an adult family member for help. Meet Tammy. She's running around and playing chase. She's living the fox life now. This little fox got hurt. But luckily, people from an animal sanctuary found her. They were animal rescuers. It looks like something's wrong with its back hips. There was still hope. They worked really hard to make her feel better again. <laughs> they fed her and cleaned her up and kept her warm and safe. About three days later, she started cracking open her eyes a little bit. It was so cute when she opened in her eyes. She was like... Tammy really wanted to get better, but she was still too weak to walk. She couldn't go back to the wild until she was feeling like herself again. She trusted her rescuers to help her. Very good, darling. She knew she needed help. She knew she needed us. 
and every day she was getting a little stronger. When she was able to actually stand on her own, that was just an amazing sense of accomplishment for all of us. Pretty soon, Tammy started walking. She looks like she is going to be okay. But the rescuers thought that Tammy made it one more thing before she was ready for the wild. Meet Todd the Fox. It wasn't until she was out with Todd that she became the wild fox that she was meant to always be. Just like Tammy, Todd had been hurt. But thanks to the same rescuers, he was a happy little fox pup now. And the two of them loved being together. Tammy and Todd would chase after each other. They looked like they were having fun. Tammy and Todd had both gotten so healthy, it was time to release them back into the wild, together. But they weren't sure how the foxes would feel about being back in the woods. Would they be happy to be home, or would they be too scared to leave the rescuers? There was only one way to find out. First, they opened Todd's cage. Bye-bye, Todd. Then they opened Tammy's cage. She's free. It was incredibly special to see that split second of Tammy shooting out of the crate. She's so happy to be back into the wild. From having something wrong with her back legs, now to running happily as a wild fox. She's a really sweet fox. If you see an animal in trouble, don't try to rescue them by yourself. Ask an adult family member for help. The cutest baby raccoons were stuck in the wall. This rescuer had to cut through a wall. They should not be in somebody's wall. They should be with their mama. How'd they even get in there anyway? Maybe they got lost or they fell through something and landed inside someone's wall. They dug through the through the roof, landed in there, and someone saw, oh, there's a hole in my roof. Repaired it, and then like ding 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 ding. Oh, wow. I didn't realize I had baby raccoons in here. Don't worry, raccoons. We're going to get you home. Now that the rescue had cut a big hole, it was time to start pulling the babies out. There's the first raccoon. They're so little. There's number two. And number three. I think they're pretty cute. And the fourth one. How did they all fit in there? That's five raccoons. The raccoons were safely out of the wall. But now what? What do you do with a pack of rescued raccoon babies? The rescuer came up with a plan. He would put the baby raccoons in a special box and leave them on the roof of the house where he'd found them. Then he'd wait for the mama raccoon to show up and take her babies home. Okay, the babies are in the box. Look, there's the mama! The rescuer left the box alone to make sure the mama wouldn't get scared and run away.
But instead of taking the babies out of the box like the rescuer hoped, and there's our box. The mama raccoon moved into the box to be with her babies. We have a mama. There's a little baby tail sticking in. What are you doing, Mama? This can't be your new house. You've got to go live in the wild. This is just a box. But the rescuer trusted the Mama would soon figure out what to do. And just like he hoped, she took her babies out and went off to look for a home in the wild where it's safe. Bye, raccoons. how the mama was carrying the raccoons didn't really look so comfortable. They could just go <laughs> juggle some babies. Those raccoons are probably feeling like, hallelujah, we're out of that wall and now we're living with our mom. If you see an animal in trouble, do not try to rescue them by yourself. Ask an adult family member for help. My mom helps me with the dogs I rescue. You. That's the sound of baby ducks crying for help. They're stuck in a storm drain, chirping so loud for someone to find them. Their mom is nearby, but she can't get to her babies without help. She's only got some of them. There's only four of them. But don't worry, these amazing neighbors have a plan to save the baby ducklings. Hey guys, today I want to show you another real story of real animals really being rescued. There are so many animals who need help and so many ways to rescue them. This rescue story is one of my favorites because it reminds me that we should never give up when animals need our help. 12 baby ducks fell down a storm drain and got stuck. They were really scared and so was their mom. But a neighbor heard the little ducks chirping. She knew they were asking for help. And I can hear these little duckies down here in this, down here, how do I get them? The neighbor wanted to rescue the ducks right away but she couldn't do it alone. Oh no, how do we get him out? So she made a couple of calls and her friends came to help. Are you okay? Oh no, oh, there you go. Do you think I'm gonna oh, get scared? But getting the ducklings out was not going to be easy. The ducks didn't know the rescuers and people seem so big when you're a little duck. So the ducks got scared and they ran away into the pipes to hide. To be honest, I probably would have run away too. But the rescuers didn't give up and they came up with a plan. First they needed to show the ducks that they just wanted to help. Trying to lure them with bread on my foot. They're scared of me, I think. And it worked. Some of the ducks started to feel like they were safe. And they let the rescuers come close. But now the rescuers had to get them out. They used tongs from their kitchen. Is this I how you save a duck? The rescuer had to lay down on the cold, wet ground and reach as far as she could. It was hard work, but it was worth it because... Grab him, grab him, grab him. One. She rescued the first little duck. And then another. Oh, oh so close. There they go. <laughs> and another. Wait, where'd they go? They went back in the pipe. They rescued four little ducks, but not all of them, because some of the ducks were still scared and hiding in the pipes. The lady made a few more calls, and the whole neighborhood came out to help. He's over here trying to connect the pipes under. There's a bus. See, they're opening the hydrant. That's a year for the bus right there. And they're hoping to flush them out Probably here. Ready to catch the 
They filled the drain with water, which lifted the ducks out higher. They eventually did it! rescued every single one of the little ducks. There, there's more here, so there's 16. Guys, we saved all of them! But now the rescuers had another problem. They couldn't find Mama Duck. She disappeared during the rescue. Where's the mama? Oh, there she is maybe? The little babies. They found her waiting in a nearby pond with Dad Duck and the other babies. Hey, Mama, Bob, Ducky, we got your babies! Oh, look, she hears them! She hears them! Go back! Oh, that was like the sweetest reunion ever! The whole duck family was together again! The Mama Duck was so happy to have every single one of her babies back. The rescuers were happy too, and they were proud. They didn't give up and they saved the little ducklings. Let's watch the best part, when the baby ducks finally see their mom and swim as fast as they can to get to her. I love that part. Okay, thanks for watching one of my favorite rescue videos. Bye. If you see an animal in trouble, don't try and rescue it by yourself. Ask an adult family member for help. My mom helps me with the dogs I rescue. We're trying to get this goat into a rescue boat. She was stuck on rocks out in the middle of the ocean. But now she's being helped to safety. You're almost there, Dolly. Hi guys, Roman here, and I have another real story of a real animal really being rescued. This time someone needed help way out in the water. A goat named Dolly was trapped on some rocks. She couldn't swim and the ground was too slippery to walk on. She was wet, cold, and scared. She really needed help. So rescuers came in a big boat. But there were more rocks hidden just below the water. They couldn't get the boat past the jagged rocks. The rescuers had to think of a plan. Poor Dolly was in trouble. And she was getting really tired standing on the rocks. And she was so cold. So the rescuers decided to swim. So he wants to come with me. And they made it to Dolly. When they got to the rocks, they could see she had been trapped there for a while because there was goat poo everywhere. Poor Dolly. She was so scared and too weak to walk. So the first thing the rescuers did was make her feel safe. We're here to help you. Good girl. They pet her and talked to her and said, it's going to be okay. The goat started to feel calm, and the rescuers knew it was time to take Dolly off the rocks. But how? The rocks were so sharp and uneven. They decided to carry her. The rescuers used a rope and a harness to secure Dolly. It was hard work because she was almost too tired to stand. One, two, three. But whenever Dolly started to give up, the rescuers helped her find her strength. This is good, she's got, she's got trust. She's doing really, really well. They carried Dolly to where the rocks disappeared into the water. Come on. Don't give up, let's go. Then one of the rescuers swam back to the boat for something that would help the goat float. They put her on the goat float. Dolly, you're doing really well. The next bit's going to be a bit different. It's a bit wet. Dolly, it's going to be a bit, bit, bit scary, but you'll be all right. Here we go, darling. Ready, brace, lift. And away they went. Dolly was so brave. She's loving it. You're doing really, really well, Dolly. The rescuers thought that Dolly was going to get nervous in the water. 
But Dolly trusted her new friends, and she was very calm. They all made it back to the boat. They lifted Dolly up. That's it, darling. One, two, three. And in. Dolly was so cold, the rescuers gave her a shiny blanket. And she was so tired, they let her lie down in their laps. Dolly is in the boat. You're a good girl, Dolly. And with Dolly safely off the rocks and on the boat, the rescuers called it a day. They all went home and they took Dolly with them. She was so happy to be with her new friends and so happy to be off those rocks. And that's how Dolly the Goat was rescued. Before we stop, let's watch the best part when Dolly the Goat gets lifted into the boat. That's it, darling. One, two, three. I love that part. Thanks for watching. Bye. If you see an animal in trouble, don't even try to rescue it by yourself. Ask an adult family member for help. My mom helps me with the dogs I rescue. That's the mom raccoon. She really needed help. They cut a hole right through the wall so they could find the baby. They were so happy to see each other. It's me, Roman. This next story is about a mama raccoon who accidentally made her nest in the craziest place, in someone's roof. Her little baby raccoon accidentally fell right in. A rescuer came to help the baby. We're in a downstairs bathroom. If we listen carefully, we can hear the baby crying. <laughs> So we know that a baby has fallen down. Hopefully we can grab the baby and pull it out. They cut a hole right through the wall so they could find the baby. There he is. They gently pulled the raccoon right out. The rescuers decided to take the baby raccoon up on the roof so his mom could find him. And then, there she is! They were so happy to see each other. Don't they look great together? That's a perfect picture. The mom raccoon took her baby to a new nest where they could be snug and safe and where there were no roosts to fall into. She carried him all the way in her mouth. And that's just a perfect way for me to end. Thanks for watching my real rescue story with me. Bye! If you see an animal in trouble, don't try and rescue them by yourself. Ask an adult family member for help. My mom helps me with the dogs I rescue. This is a lost turtle. And that's the turtle's home, the ocean. But it's okay, a rescuer and his hat are going to bring them together. It's me, Roman. Today I've got two real animal rescue stories for you and six rescued animals. Five baby turtles plus a baby bird. It's going to be amazing. This first story starts in the ocean. That's where sea turtles are supposed to live. But this turtle is in the wrong place. She's nowhere near the ocean. What was she doing? Then someone found a clue. You see all these baby turtle tracks? The tracks showed that there were lots of little baby turtles, and they were all walking in the wrong direction. A whole group of turtles were lost. So the rescuer followed the tracks.
and started finding lost turtles. He's heading the wrong direction. They are stuck behind that stick. It's okay, turtle. You're going back home soon. Well, I found these two little tykes so far. But he didn't stop there. He kept searching. He found another. And another. Come here, little fella. And another. Wow, that's a whole five turtles, all saved in the rest of his hat. Five cute, adorable little sea turtles. But turtles don't live in hats. They live in the ocean. So the rescuer took them to the beach and set them free. Okay, here we go. The final home stretch for these little guys. Way to go, turtle. You're almost there. Yes, the turtles made it. All five turtles safe in the ocean. They must be really happy to be home and thankful too. It just feels so good to think of those baby turtles swimming free. This next story is also about a lost baby animal, a little bird who was lost and all alone. What you doing, buddy? You fall out of the nest? Hmm? This baby robin was so little and hadn't learned how to fly yet. He was stuck on the ground with no place to go. The man wasn't sure what to do. The bird's parents could be looking for their baby. Maybe he should leave the baby for them to find. But there was a cat nearby. The man was worried about the bird with the cat around. So he decided to bring the baby inside to keep him safe. First, he made him a nest to live in. Then he fed him food and more food. Soon the birds started to trust the man and they became friends. The man hoped the bird would learn to fly soon so he could live safely outside. And soon he did. Thanks to the man, he could live all on his own in a tree outside. He spent the night in his tree last night. You want to eat? But even though the bird was strong enough to live on his own, he still comes back to visit his friends. He was so grateful for the man's help. I think the bird is saying, thanks for rescuing me, thanks for the food, and thanks for everything. So that makes six lost animals rescued in today's stories. Before you go, I want one last look at those turtles in the ocean. Keep swimming, turtles! Thanks so much for watching two of my favorite rescue stories. Bye! If you see an animal in trouble, don't try and rescue them by yourself. Ask an adult family member for help. My mom helps me with the dogs I rescue. Joe. This family rescued a baby owl. A big baby owl. <laughs> he may not look like a baby, but he is. He doesn't even know how to fly yet. This owl was in trouble. He needed serious help. Hey guys, it's me, Roman. Today's rescue story starts deep in the woods. A family was out on an adventure when they found a baby owl who needed to be rescued. The poor guy had fallen from a tree and couldn't fly back up. And that made the owl feel mad, angry, upset, irritated, and in a terrible mood. He is not happy, not happy at all. And on top of all that, he was also scared. And down on the ground, he was in danger. He needed help. So the family became owl rescuers. Okay, you ever done this before? No. First, they came up with a plan. They put the baby owl in a special owl moving crib and take them to a rehabber, someone whose job it is to take care of animals who need help. 
we're gonna go out here and we're going to try to catch an owl. Never caught an owl before. We'll see if we can get it done. But there was one problem. The baby owl was still in a terrible mood. He doesn't like us at all. No. He did not want to be put in the special owl moving crate. But the owl was in danger. He really needed help, even if he didn't know it. The family did not give up. They came up with another plan to put a huge towel over the baby owl's head. Wait, what? They wanted to cover the owl's eyes so he wouldn't be all so scared. But would it work? I'm gonna go way around the back of it and try to sneak up behind it and throw this towel over it. My dad's like a ghost right now. They gently nudged the owl into the special moving crate. Talking quietly to make him feel safe. Okay, Bobby. Come on, it's okay. And then something magical happened. The owl started to trust the family. He's in, guys. He's in. He's, he's in. in. He's in. He's in. Suddenly, he wasn't scared or mad. He was like, hey, this actually is kind of warm and cozy. So where are we going, guys? The movies? It took the owl to the animal rehab. Yeah, that's just the baby. So that's why he can't fly. Right. If you look at if you look at his head, Whoa. if you look at his head, you see all the downy feathers on it. Yeah, yeah that's fine. The owl felt safe with the rehabber too. If you open the wings up, see that they're not fully developed yet. Yeah, you can see them up there. So it's just an immature barred owl. Bard. The baby owl was so happy to be here. He even let them hold him. Oh, how awesome is that, Davis? You said Isn't you always wanted to hold him, right? Always now that the owl was safe and happy, the rehabber could do his job. What will you do with him? I'll feed him out for about 45 days. Okay. And then release him. So the family said goodbye to the baby owl and went home as owl rescuers and heroes. Oh, I think we did something good today, didn't we? Yeah. That story made me feel really good. Okay, let's watch my favorite part one more time. When the baby owl was being held. Oh man, I love that part. If you see an animal in trouble, don't try and rescue it by yourself. Ask an adult family member for help. My mom helps me with the dog die rescue. Hey look, seals. I love seals. Arr, 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 arr. Wait. Something's wrong with that little seal over there. See, by against the green rock. He's trapped in a net. These rescuers have noticed that something's wrong too. They're on a mission to help. Go, go, go! Move, move, move! Someone needs to help this little guy. The rescuers are using that towel to hold him still, but also to calm him down. He's really afraid of the rescuers. You need to that yeah. I didn't know seals could growl like that. They covered his eyes so he would feel less scared. And they talked quietly to him until he calmed down and stopped wriggling around. It's gonna be okay, little guy. Now they really had to get to work. They started cutting away at the net. The net was so tight that even touching it made the seal uncomfortable. Buddy, 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 just want to help, mate. You just help him. I just felt really bad for this little seal. The whole team had to work together to get the net off him. Very good. And then, something amazing happened. The seal started trusting the rescuers. Uh, 
He trusted them so much that he even fell asleep. He's a cute baby seal. And they're getting off the net, which is a really good thing. Is the blue spray in your bag? Now it looks like they're going to spray something on him to hopefully help his cut. The net had really hurt the seal's neck. They used a special cut cleaning spray. It looked like a blue spray. All I've seen is um like the the bathtub cleaner blue, blue spray stuff. It definitely wasn't a bathroom cleaner. He's a tough little seal. The rescuer said goodbye to the seal and they let him go back to the salt water. And he's a happy seal in the water now. He was really scared of them at first, but they were so patient and so gentle that the seal could tell they were trying to help him. Maybe if he ever sees them again, he won't growl at all. He might just give them a friendly seal hello. R R R R. What is that? It's a baby skunk. A baby skunk? I, I've never seen a baby skunk. He's stuck on the side of this river. And he's crying out for help. Is someone going to come to his rescue? Luckily, this guy in his kayak found them just in time. And he became an animal rescuer. Okay, little buddy. Hold on. I'm gonna try and figure out a way to save you. The rescuer needed to get the skunk to safety. But there was just one little problem. I'm gonna get skunked. When skunks get scared, they sometimes spray a very, very, very stinky smell. Skunk spraying is their one of their only defense mechanisms. Like, they'll give their tail for like a warning. Hey, if you don't back off, I'm not afraid to spray you. I got a skunker and I'm not afraid to use it. The rescuer really didn't want that skunk stink to get stuck on his clothes. Look at how cute he is. He already stinks to high heaven. So the rescuer went over to the little skunk, trying his best not to scare him. He doesn't like being touched. Oh no. Alright, here we go. Is that another one up there? The skunk's brother is close by. another skunk to rescue. So he started to climb, and he found him. He was also a baby skunk. There's baby brother. The rescuer knew he had to move fast, or he would definitely get skunked. See that tail sticking up? That's not a good sign. Ah! Oh man, he got skunked! But he wasn't gonna give up. He had to help the little baby. The rescuer got a bag to put the baby in and went back to try again. It was hard work. Alright, not what I want in my bag. But soon, the rescuer had both stones in his boat. He saved them. Now it was time to get them back to their family. But he couldn't find them anywhere. What do I do with them? So, he took the babies home. Skunks in the house! He made them a soft bed and fed them from an eyedropper. Snip, skunk, sleep over. I think those skunks really like being rescued. But the skunks couldn't stay forever. They needed more help than the rescuer could give on his own. But the man drove the skunks to a rehab center a place where professional animal rescuers take care of lost or sick wild animals. And he said goodbye to his new friends.
that completely fulfills my heart knowing that they're somewhere where they're going to get taken care of. He really helped those goats. They're so happy. It was definitely worth getting a little stinky. Ah! Which reminds me, if you see an animal in trouble, especially a skunk, do not try to rescue them by yourself. Ask an adult family member for help. And if we saw baby skunk, we would definitely call some professional rescuers. Yo, yo, kids! Like and subscribe.